can you can you talk about your performance? Uh, you uh, you came into this fight, uh, you know, feeling very confident despite being on a losing streak. You actually uh, uh, fought an opponent who uh, is known as a solid uh, a ground fighter. Uh, yet he kept on on the feet for a long time, and then when it finally hit the ground, you were able to show uh, your superior grappling skills. How do, how do you feel about your performance? I, I, I feel really good. You know, um, the first of all, I have to say thanks to my coach Raul. You know, he's been helping me out on my boxing. You know, and I feel confident because I've been trained from uh, from my last fight. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I've been trained from the last day, uh, the, the the April to. To right now and uh, I've been dieting I've been doing my my homework you know my wrestling my boxing my Muay Thai my, uh, I've been going tra uh, cross training on, the, on my gym in Dallas you know with my coach safe and uh, all this been with been a lot of work you know and I gotta say it's an easy work but I've been a lot of work and uh, I, I, I need this win and the point when I hit the ground I knew I could take it you know but I want to live for the end you know because I want to I want to show my my, my progress, you know, on my stand up, on my on my take uh, my takedown defense, and that's the all the hard work goal. Mm -hmm. Was the leaving Brazil and coming to Texas? What is the mixed martial arts scene like there, and how was that transition? Was it easy just to come in and live there, or is it difficult at all? Uh, when I came to the United States before, uh, I never trained MMA. Mm -hmm. You know, I just trained only uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That time I want to be a road champion and I never could because uh, I got a second but never first. And that's when I got the transition to go to a mixed martial arts. Uh, I started training by myself and uh, from there uh, the transition is nothing. You know, it's just we got to pull more punches and dedicate yourself a little bit more. But uh, when I transitioned to the United States, people were accepting me more with like with my jiu jitsu, you know, like, give me, like, hey, I think you have a good chance on this. Try to learn a little bit more of that, you know. And uh, in Brazil, you know, people just saying, oh, you have to train better jiu -jitsu, more jiu jitsu than anything else. Just train jiu jitsu. And I'm not, it's not what I look for. And right now, I see my, my, my levels, I see my boxing get better, I see my wrestling get better, you know, all my coaches helping me out. And I feel so grateful and I feel like the transition going so far and I know going, uh, going further, you know, day by day, I think gonna go really good. Uh, during the uh, um, up to the uh, the weigh-ins, uh, you came in, you know, like they brought out the towel. Uh, you got a haircut. I mean, can you talk about uh, <laughs> okay. the difficulty making weight? Well, um, it's not because I cut my hair because. I want to look different, you know. The first of all, <laughs> because the last my last fight, I have a, like a long hair. Like a, people start making fun of me, you know. Like, <laughs> and I start like, you know, let's let's do something like crazy right now. Let's shave everything, and uh, all my my team did it, you know. Like we all did together, and the point of the hair was saying, let's let's have fun, not not put them this like a work no more. Let's let's have fun, you know. And we did it, and I. I I feel good. The weight cut, yeah, always hard. And I'm gonna say it's not hard. But like, uh, I kind of miss a little bit like on the pounds, you know, like I, I, I think I, I have to learn more how I diet in and, and, and get my diet to the right point because I have just five weeks to, to call weight. You know, I have five weeks, it's not, it's not enough time, but I did it. I do everything I could to make weight and I make it. And that's why it's more important for me. What weight do you cut down from? I normally I walk around 185, but in five weeks, so you've been, if you want to be healthy, you want to be in good shape, you need more time. You need at least two or three months, like, on a good shape. And I, I came from 185 in, in, in five weeks, and uh, I, I want to cut more fat. I want to take more. Uh, uh, I want to put more training in my mind. I want to train more my my body to do this. Uh, as fast as I can because the way the UFC put in the rules, the way you put it, it's good. No, don't get me wrong, it's, it's really good. Right now I feel so much better, sorry, with no IVs. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's gonna be better and better all the time and I need to prepare myself to get there in performance like how I did right now. Would you like it more if weight was like a jiu-jitsu tournament where you weigh in 10 minutes before and you go fight and if you throw up or if you faint, you're out? 
UFC, they give you 24 hours. Which one would you like more for everybody? I think this is perfect. Yeah. You know, I can't I can lie. Like, if you're gonna cut like a 15 pounds one day to the next, it's, it's not healthy. You know, it's not it's not a good. You know, I fight at the same time, same time you, I see a lot of people throw up on a mat. You know, it's not, it's not good. Almost I did it one time, not gonna lie. You know, it, it, it's not good for you healthy. I think if you do like a, a day, 24 hours after you win, it's, you can do it the best you can to win. I know that, but I think that's the health way to don't get injured, don't get like, you don't get sick or anything else. I think this is, right now, is the best way. And how, is it ever harder to fight with your weight than to actually fight in the cage? Uh, I, I, I think so because, like, if for me, I gotta fight with a guy on 180, 185 pounds. You know, the guy's gonna be like a monster in front of me. You know, and uh, fighting 185, I think it is my my best, my my best division, and I can feel better the next day. I feel strong. I feel faster, and I think I think this division, the uh, this way is better. You know. Uh, you surprised a lot of people when you came to the USC uh, with uh, some great victories uh, before you had some problems and now you're back on the women track. Uh, who, who do you feel uh, is is a good matchup for your next for your next fight? I don't know. I don't know who's gonna match up with me, but uh, I won one more fight before I start calling out people because the people took my my beat me the last two times. You know, I have it then in, in my mind the whole time. You know, and I not not forget who beat me. I never gonna forget because took a lot from me, you know, took like uh, uh, my my record and I can look forward to these two fights I lost. But right now I want to take one more fight, you know, I don't care who's going to be. And uh, uh, I, I want to start calling people out after that one, you know, I really want to get there. I want to get in the top 10 as soon as I can. And uh, But I need to talk to my coach, that, that's by my, by, on, on with me, you know. But I want to talk to my coach and see what's going to be the next for me. And now I'm here, and uh, I want to get in the top ten for sure. I don't care who we're gonna look, who we're gonna match up, but I want to get in the top ten. Now, traditionally, uh, Brazilian fighters uh, always came from a jiu-jitsu and maybe kickboxing background or mix thereof. Uh, there's been a lot of resistance uh, up until maybe recently, uh, especially in Brazil, against uh, training wrestling. It's not part of the culture. Uh, guys like you, Wilson Hayes, you're showing that that it makes a huge difference. How do you feel about that? Do you think it's going to be you know, more wrestling might be more embraced uh, by uh, Brazilian culture and, and as far as people seeing the kind of results you're getting right now? Uh, I, I think it's really important you train everything from the karate to wrestling. It's it's important, you know. Different mixed martial mixed martial arts is coming inside the UFC, and you have to prepare yourself the whole time. You know, you cannot just say, oh, I'm gonna train jiu-jitsu. I know if the guy take me down, I gotta submit him. No, it's not like that. If you got a top fighter, like especially like wrestling guy, you're always gonna have a hard time. You can submit, but not all the time. And I think the the way the culture, the culture going put the wrestling on 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 the mixed martial right now, I think it's a good idea. You know, for me, for myself, I work really hard on my wrestling right now. I have so many like I have one coach on on my on my town where I live in Texas, uh, uh, and for he's coming help me all the time. He bring his students to help me out and and. I, I showed the, the, the skills he, he, he teach me, the skills he been showing my coach from Dallas who helped me out a lot. And I, I think that's gonna be better on the, uh, on the performance side. every time you, you, you train something different. Were you able to successfully demonstrate all the improvements in this fight? Or do you think you have some things we haven't seen yet? I think you have some things that you guys don't see yet, but I, I promise you guys, you guys are gonna see really good. Uh, later on the next fight, I think uh, I gotta try and prove more and more every single one.